What is aplastic anemia? Do you know? What's up, Jiz? Javen here. I'd like to talk to you about one of my health challenges today. It's what started everything and is probably the most, no, the second most challenging obstacle in my life at this time. Also called bone marrow aplasia, aplastic anemia is scientifically described as the bone marrow ceasing production of new blood cells. At first, it was only what I guess you could call red cell aplasia for me. Now, for those that don't know the meaning of aplasia and aplastic, it means empty. So the amount of red blood cells in my bone marrow is literally hunt empty. Pretty crazy, huh? But over time, it's gotten worse. Aplastic anemia is a bad combination of low red blood cells, white cells, and platelets. To use another scientific word, which means very few, I think you could say I'm hypoplastic on white cells and platelets. I'll stop right there. For those that don't know what those are, white cells are what fight infection, bacteria, viruses, etc. If you catch a cold, your white blood cells are what's going to fight off that cold and help you heal. For platelets, uh, they seal up your cuts, stops the bleeding, and don't allow you to bleed out. So it's your body's natural band-aid, I guess you could say, an adhesive of sorts to make sure you're not losing all that precious blood that you need because the body can only produce so much that quickly. So the platelets are there to help uh, loss control. For a person who doesn't really have a lot of platelets in their system, they tend to bruise easy, they have random sudden nosebleeds, their cuts take longer to heal and seal up and stop bleeding. It's not fun. As you can gather, this is a pretty serious health condition. Quite rare, too, with only 20,000 or less newly diagnosed U.S. patients per year. Now, I know that doesn't include the rest of the world, but the U.S. is where I currently live, so I just kept to that. I hope you don't mind. Now, we've never been able to figure out what exactly caused my bone marrow to shut down red cell production like it did. It's been a mystery for practically my entire life. If the doctors have figured it out, they haven't even told me yet. Or I just don't remember because my mind is nearly gone. Known causes for this condition can be radiation, chemotherapy, toxic chems, some drugs, and infections. Symptoms include fatigue, frequent infections, rapid heart rate, and bleeding could occur. Personally, I'm always experiencing the fatigue, and my normal heart rate is usually within the 90s instead of in the 70s. So, yeah, I've definitely got the rapid heart rate. That's because with the body being so low on blood, the heart has to work harder in order to pump that blood throughout the body. You should feel my heart when I'm low on blood and trying to make it to the kitchen out of breath and dizzy as f With the low platelets, I tend to have nosebleeds when my allergies beat my nose into submission. And I bruise so easily that giving myself insulin is actually a challenge. Then, with the low white cells, I've landed in the emergency department with bugs that you would normally fight off without breaking a sweat with fevers up to 103.8, nearly 104 degrees Fahrenheit. And I was physically hallucinating at that point. Not visually, thank gosh, but physically, yeah, scary. It's been a living hell living most of my life with aplastic anemia. Having to get blood transfusions every two to three weeks, avoiding large crowds to avoid catching something, not being able to play sports or uh, practice martial arts uh, to avoid harsh bruising and possible internal bleeding. In my childhood, I was better. I mean, it should be pretty obvious I was still young and my body had not dealt with the beating it had to endure so far yet. But, I still had to sit out of gym class, with all the normal kids staring at me, and eventually seeing me as a weakling, 
And of course, we all know weaklings aren't cool, so I was not cool, so I didn't really have many friends. On the bright side, teachers were usually on my side when I punch a kid in the nose for attempting to bully me. Being the shortest kid in class and having the word weak stamped on my forehead definitely drew a lot of bullies to me for punching practice. Oh yeah. I was small, but I was vicious. So that is all the time I have. I hope this was educational for you. I will be making more videos like this one explaining the other health conditions that I have to endure on a daily basis. I thank you for visiting. It is always much appreciated. I will see you all next time. Rock out.